Hey man. Hope you're not afraid of the dark. Did what I had to, y'all call it taboo. Sorry, I never had love for you when you were being my body. I said you're allowing this money that matches my life so heavy. When you got these kind of dreams, you gotta just chill the fuck out, sit down and pray, man. I had a father, but if we was honest, I took on it, so I said, bro, to the head. Yeah, I'm black here, bitch. Love that cause of the earthquake, bitch. Right hand, someone a black hole, bitch. It's crazy because I really did that. Ain't no kidding. I was that you could relive that. I see your face and I knew you was big bad. Too bad. I guess I'm really the big bad. Y'all going two years, I got a big bad. Wanna do shit with a bad. Welcome to AEW, everybody. So, as you guys can probably guess, I now have a Revolution title match. And what I'm trying to figure out is why... Don Wyatt starts he just starts grabbing anyone who he can to try to help him keep his title he, he forms this little brotherhood with John Hannibal they're acting crazy together it's, no one really knows what's happening but all I know is, at Insanity's End, I will be taking that title away. I will be becoming a two-time Revolution Champion. Is there a reason Mike came out here? Because, you know, I'm getting a promo. I know that, like, me and you are, are cool, but, like, what's going on? Well, let me tell you, it wasn't easy getting the doctors to clear me after all the bullshit that's happened the last couple shows. But, uh, now that I'm finally cleared, I'm back, and my business with Tyler Quinn is done since I left him in a pile of his own mess at Blind for Life. So now, I want to shout at the Revolution title. Hey, hey, look, man. So, you can have a shot after I win it, all right? But right now, you got to get in line like everybody else. I'm already at the front of this line. I mean, you can always have a triple threat match. Just kind of scooch me in a little bit. I knew I was facing you, Nick, so. <clears throat> well, now, you want a shot at this as well, huh? Yep. <laughs> and you want a shot. Oh, you earned your shot. 
That's right. Well, <laughs> here, how about this? I have no problem with putting the both of y'all down at Insanity's End. So, I don't feel like there's much to talk about, boys. <laughs> how about you, John? No. Nah. Mm -hmm. You're going to retain that belt. <laughs> so, John, you, your friend does have one, one thing clear. Uh, there's not much to talk about. There's one for you! There's one for you! Come on. Come on. Come on, son. You know what, John? I'll deal with you tonight so that you can't help him later. Uh, they don't even know. Come on. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to their episode of Tyson Talks, and today I'm interviewing Moros Blackwell. So, uh, Moros Blackwell, welcome to the show. I'm a guest and you ain't got a chance for me. I can bring my own. Well, I uh, wasn't sure if you were going to sit or stand you do a lot of walking and talking so wondering if you were just gonna prance around here and spew your stuff that you always say now look you want me on this so i'll be respectful towards you how are you doing i'm doing well how are you i'm doing pretty good so uh We've never seen Moros Blackwell around here before. This is a whole new you. So what's what's the deal? What's what's going on here? Why are you here? Why have you changed your name? Who is Moros Blackwell? The reason why I changed my name, good sir, good old Tyson Hanks, is because I have been reborn. I am no longer Riley Patrick. I am Moros Blackwell, a new and improved version of Riley Patrick. You see, Riley Patrick always stuck up for the little guy. Riley Patrick always had the heart. And I remember you telling Riley, never let the light die. Sadly, the light's in, the light's in here too. So instead of going by the same name that's been haunting me for years on end, I decided to change my name to Moros Blackwell. Because Moros means fear. Do you have any of that, Mr. Rex? Do you have any faith or fear? No, I don't. I just worry about coming here and making sure this show runs properly. Good point. Well, so well, what, your goal is to make people fear you? My goal is not that. My goal is pretty simple. Everyone has their faith. It's light out in front of them. They have their cards. My goal is to make sure everyone follows that. Whether it be John Hannibal, Don Wyatt, Tyler Quinn, Justin Calloway, Antonio Bernard, Dakota Nix, anyone. Everyone's faith, fate, is the same thing. We all are damned to hell. And my job is to make sure Lucifer gets what he wants. And that is the souls of every single individual here. Well, who do you have your sights set on right now? 
but there's plenty of people in this company. That is a very good question, but I cannot tell because my sights is set on everyone, Tyson. But we will see who will get the first nail in the coffin. So, what do you plan on doing with your time here in AEW? Uh, is this a time where you're going to be trying to help the company? Are you looking out for your, you know, your peers in the locker room? You know, how do you feel about the fans? I'm assuming you don't care about any of that. <clears throat> you, 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 sir, are correct. I could give a damn about what this, what this company does. I can give a damn about everyone in this locker room. And I certainly don't give a flying one about the fans. They can all rot in the hell where they deserve as well. But that's just me. You see, Tyson, when you took me under your wing, when you teach me a lot of things, I learned. I watched you. And you, sir, were a damn good teacher. I know you don't like talking about that, but there uh, that is a point in your time where you were just like me, but not as dark. You didn't care what these people wanted. You didn't care about the individuals. You only cared about one thing, the AW Championship. And you held that championship tight. And I was Revolution Champion. We ran this company and made it better. Unfortunately, you saw the light at the end of the tunnel. You saw a light and you went towards it and you got a heart again. You apologized to every single person how you hurt them. And that just pissed me off, Tyson. It really did. Because someone who looked up to you and seen their hero, their mentor, go from this big, bad king conqueror to a soft individual really did upset me. That's why I had to put you down, Tyson. That's why I had to hurt you. And I may not have finished the job like Ma the Justin Marsman Calloway did, but I did put a trigger on that back. He just pulled it. Let's get one thing straight, Moros. I left because of me. I didn't leave because of you. I left because I needed to take some time off. And the only reason why I'm back is because there was a job that needed to be done that Solomon Oz couldn't do anymore. And so, you may think you're ahead of me, but don't forget who your boss is. And don't forget who writes the checks. What checks? We don't get paid for this, Tyson. You know this. We do this for fun and entertainment. You know what I mean. You know who's running this show. It ain't you, it ain't Quinn. It's not Dakota Nick. It's not any of the people in the back. It's me and Cameron Stone. I have to make sure this show runs properly. So, I'm kind of above being a wrestler at this point. Yes. Technically, you are above being a wrestler. But I have a question for you, Tyson. Sure. When are you gonna get? When are you gonna step back in? When are you gonna show these people at home and these people in the back, you again? You had unfinished business with a lot of things here. Quite frankly, there's some things that I bet you wish you could hold again. The fact that we have legitimate titles now that aren't plastic, that don't rip or get taken by the wind. I know that probably eats at you at night. I know you want to probably hold one of them titles before this all goes away or we all stop doing this because of life. So Tyson, 
When are you going to get back in that ring? When are we going to see the big bad T-Rex come back and lay wasteland again? I'll be honest with you. Can't give you an answer. I don't even know. But here's the thing. If I ever, if I ever do come back to this and I step in that ring again, you'll know. You'll know, and all these people running around here thinking that they're in charge of things will know. Because I'm only going to return when it's needed. And at that point, it's too late for y'all to run. But I'm not here to wrestle anymore. I'm here because, you know what? Wrestling never changed anything. No matter how much I pushed to change things, all it did was either create more enemies or it made me the enemy. I even poisoned myself, I poisoned my own mind. But now that I'm backstage, now that I'm back here handling the business, that's where the real change happens. That's where I can really make the impact. Because now me and Cameron Stone can keep a lid on this chaos that ensues here in this company. Whereas before you had Tyler Quinn who didn't give a damn about anything regarding control of the company. So, I still, I still got your number, Riley. I still, still no ways that I can hurt you. Just not really anything physical. And if you're not careful, your career can be in jeopardy. Is that a threat, Mr. Rex? Of course not. Or is that a promise? It's what you want it to be. <laughs> Whatever you get from that is what you get. And it's Moros, not Riley. Well, you know, Riley, you refuse to call me by my new name. So you expect me to just pretend that Riley Patrick's dead? You may have lost faith in Riley Patrick, but not me. Good talk. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was Moros Blackwell, and this was Ben Tyson Talks. You guys have a great day. Bye. Tyler Quinn, I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of getting sn snuck from behind. I'm some bitch. I'm fucking tired of it. Tyler Quinn, you, me, match in the ring. Now! Let's work. Let's work. Switching lanes like how these rappers switch the clothes. Push up on the pedal, hurt the pedal, touch the blow. Drive them to a win, I keep a tail up on the dope. Maneuver through the traffic like that's a beer. Say that's a slip, screaming, that's a trap, so can't be standing top of the dope. Engine kicking up like in the nest from Mexico. Cruising in control, the paint is color, that's the low. Shooting through the gap, you wish you had a flex. Sleeping in the car, looking at the stars, I can be a summit, and we got below. Everything I 
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We have a match between Tyler Quinn and Antonio Bernard. All right, here we are. More AEW action. In the corner of my left, we have the current holder of the CFL, Tyler Quinn. And in the corner of my right, we have Antonio Bernard. Thank you. Ready to go? Let's go, fuckface. I'm more impressed with the stick stuck. Yeah. Oh, someone a little butt hurt that I ruined their entrance. Someone a little butt hurt that AEW shiny new toy finally got damaged. Uh, trash talking and oh a takedown oh and the uh, hits and elbows Antonio is angry uh oh figure four no sharpshooter we got a sharpshooter how you like how you feel oh yeah Ah. Say cheese for the camera. Ah. Mm. Oh. I don't know if that's moans of hurt or moans of pleasure. Come on. Probably likes it. Such a rookie. You should get out of here. Come on. And now he's paint brushing him. Ah. And right, he got to the ropes. <laughs> It just flings him across. Come on, that's what you got. Come on, punk. Oh, come on. Come they call him a punk. Hey. It was fighting words. Shiny new toy. The kids didn't want you. I don't know what he said, but I think uh, it just made Nate, I mean Antonio, very angry. And he lost his shoe. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no, God. he's using the shoe as a weapon. I bet that stank. Quinn, you do it again, you're out of here. That's not illegal. That awful. Eh. Apparently shoes have become a very, a very weaponized thing Super here in AW. Cool. Super kick. A lot of a lot of shoes like going on. <clears throat> Tyler Quinn. Drug you to the middle of the ring. With a Whoa. suplex. And now. Oh, oh he went for a splash. But Nate got the knees up and a kip up. I mean, Antonio. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <coughs> Cover. One, two, Got on the ropes. Antonio can't believe it. Uh. Nice spinning cutter. Uh. Headbutt. Uh. 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 Headbutts, headbutts, headbutts. Instead of a super tape party, it's a headbutt party. And he airballed. Oh. And a kick out at two. And now, oh. forearm. Another. A third. A fourth. A fifth. A sixth. A seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ooh, nice counter. And again, showing off his tape where it says rookie on it. Oh! Is that even legal?
I don't think Antonio's gonna have any more kids after this. Now what's Quinn doing here? Ah! Oh! A kick. Oh, he's pulling him up with it. Oh. Oh, a kick. Oh. To the arm. And a cover. And a kick out with the other arm. Oh! Pure oh. Nagi. And a cover. And a kick out at two. Oh. I'll hear you say, Antonio could use that to his advantage. Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Using ah. the tape ah. as a weapon. Ah. <laughs> and there's a wasp trying to get in Antonio's eye. <laughs> that thing, it's a triple threat now. We got another competitor. <laughs> that wasp was trying to get involved. I think Quinn paid it and oh, into the fence. Come on, get him back in there. And, oh, oh, into the fence again, and he's not done. Yeah. Oh, we picked him up. Where's your count, ref? And, oh, just throw him into the ring. He's getting him back up. And... And a kick out at two. Ah. Tire batteries. Ah. Talk a shit. Ah. Antonio laying the smack Ooh. down. Ah. 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 And now ah. he's got him in a submission hold. What do you say, Quinn? No. No. Quinn's trying to get out of it. And now it looks like he's flipping him off. I don't know if he's flipping off Antonio or the ref. Antonio. Uh oh. Oh! You know, that hurt. And he told him to suck it. And a power bomb. And a cover. And a kick out at two. Oh, a kick. What on earth? Oh! To the neck. Now your TKO. That was mine first. And he did it terribly. Always did it with one arm. And a, and a cocky <laughs> sit. Oh, roll up. And a kick out. And now. One leg Boston Crab. Tom! And 
Quinn rolling through. Oh no, I'm telling Remember you. This? Bigger ah, four. Uh -oh. Bigger oh. four. Oh. 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 Hold on, talk to me. He's reaching for the ropes. Yep. He's not quite there. Yep. He's still not quite there. Uh -huh. He's gonna try to maybe reverse the pressure. No, he right, got to the go. rope. Right. Come on, come on. And a kick to the leg. Ah. Quinn now attacking Antonio's leg. Ah. 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 He just sat on his leg. Both men down. Quinn's talking to the ref about something. All right, let's start this up again. What? This match has been amazing so far. And now Tyler going for that leg. And now Quinn is slowly going to pick apart Antonio. Oh, the back of the head. And now Quinn, again, taking his time. Looks like he's going for a, a DDT maybe. A weird looking DDT. Oh! That's exactly what he did. Everyone thanks. I'm best with my speed. I'm dangerous when it's slow. And he is taking his sweet time. Looks like he's going for a future shot. Oh, he hit it. He hit the future shot. And on the rope. To the leg. And now Quinn. Talking trash to Antonio. Come on. Taking him up by his hair. Again going for a DDT, it looks like. But no, he, he reversed. Oh! He hit him in the stomach. And a kick out at two, but barely. I think he went for a black mask, but I don't think he got the height of it. Now he's picking him up. Oh! Black mass. And a kick out? Hey, he's out. I thought that was it. And now, Antonio is telling him to get up again. And a, another one, but he stayed up. Oh! One, two, three. 
right. And that's, right. It. that's it. That's it. Your winner. Let's work. Antonio. Switching lanes like how these rappers switching goals. Push up on the pedal, hurt the metal, touch the floor. <laughs> questions, questions. People are asking, is Hannibal and Plague together? Is Hannibal and Plague together? Yes, they are. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> we will dominate this company. We will bring bring it to his knees. Nobody can stop us. As far as Moros is concerned, I beat him once, and I will beat him again. I will beat him again. <laughs> as far as this match with Antonio got gotten out of the match, uh, nice try, nice try. Moros, you're going against my buddy, Plague, and you will fail. Just be prepared. Your doomsday's coming. <laughs> <laughs>
Gentlemen, this is one fall. You guys ready to go? I am. All right, let's get it on. Luthes press already. Don Y is go on the rampage. Ryan Zane. Uh oh. He catches him. Sister Abigail. Oh, I was up. Oh, oh, oh. He's picking him up, setting him up for what? Back suplex. Oh! Very persistent leg DDT to Don Wyatt. I think the real question is what will. Morris Blackwell do to come out as Victor. Oh, beautiful reversal. Oh, now the shirt is coming off. Sets him up for a nice clean boot. Beautiful discus clothesline. Don Wire Wizzy setting him up for it. Puts him in the middle of the ring. Oh, beautiful. Giant wizard. Now nah, he's aiming for that aiming for that leg. Could that be a factor in this match? Oh. Couple chops to him. What is he setting up for? He's calling for something. Oh my God. Beautiful body shot. Double axe handle to the back of Don Wyatt. Morris Blackwell is put, putting the aggression on this. Aggression. Mean chops to the back. Don Wyatt's trying to fight back. Don Wyatt's trying to fight, but wait a minute. Giranagi to the floor. Oh. <laughs> Kicks out at one. Oh. One, two, Kick out. Two. Kick out at two. Oh. Beautiful shotgun drop kick. Where's Don Wyatt setting up for? Oh, beautiful shotgun. Come on. A beautiful splash with a two. Oh my God. Don Wyatt is over here talking smack to Morris. I feel like that's only going to make Morris mad. Oh! Chop to the back. What's he setting him up for? Beautiful choke slam backbreaker. Another one. Bailey toss. And a splash with the combination. Was he setting him up for? Oh my god! He calls that the oh, Morris of pain. I'm fine. Ah. Ah. That is fine. Mm. Ah. He's putting, he's applying pl pressure on not just the knees but the lower back of Don Wyatt. And Don's trying to fight back. Uh-oh. He's sending him with a reversal. Oh, with the tap. With his hand tape. Oh, my God. Now he has him in a... A cross-face submission. What's going on, Black Rose? Can you give it? Come on. Come on. 
Don Wyatt randomly let's go. He's playing Blackwell up right now. Uh oh, he just oh misses a kick. Goes for a kick of his own. Super kick. Come on, come on. Oh, beautiful running knee. And a, sin, and a cannonball at it. Oh, uh, what? Season oh. open. Oh, my oh. God. Oh, 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 oh. Stop, Wyatt. Yeah. Oh, keep laughing. Power wrestling. Get up. Oh, Morris Blackwell picks him up. He's setting him up for what? A power bomb. Oh, my God. What a spear. Ref. Oh, you're a fucking idiot. You got out. Yeah. Oh. Oh. He goes back to that ankle lock. But applies knee, applies his elbow on the knee. Can he reaches the ropes? Come on, let me go, you bastard! Let me go. You gotta count. Let me go, bastard! Ah! Oh my God! Morris leaves the ring. Gives, gives Don enough time to recuperate. All right, Blackwell, I'm starting you up. Blackwell. He's trying to recuperate himself. Me, Two. Get your ass up. Three. Come on. What? This ain't your entrance. Put your slow ass in there. Come on. And as Don Wyatt is talking Get schmack to Morris Blackwell, God, Morris Blackwell God. slowly, oh. slowly positioning his moment. You want to wrestle like Nick with your shirt off? Come on. Take it off. Let me give you a shot. You ah. can't look that bad. Come on. All right. Ready? Ah. Woo! Hey, let me move my neck for you. Come on. Come on. Woo! Don White eats it off like it's nothing. Woo! 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 Bert. <coughs> Sorry, we had a couple of vocal difficulties here. Goes in for a stomp. Sets him up. For, oh my God, a mean four. Hands on the ropes. Now he's going for the elbows to the ribs. Woo, with a mean chop. Another one. Another one. Woo! Sets him up for a DDT. Nice DDT from Morris Blackwell. But it looks like he's not done yet. 
with a German. Oh my God. Send him up for another one. Oh my, oh my Lord. Nice little lariat. Looks like Morris is finally going in for a pin. One, two. Kick out at two by Don. With a sword. <coughs> well, not the same God. You think you know me. And that's not an address from Jesus. Yeah. Morris Blackwell has Don Wyan in the rear neck and choke. Traps the arm with it too. Don, oh, Don rolls over. Kick out. Very in innovative reversal. But look, here goes Morris with another lariat. And the halls of Morris locked back in. Morris is trying to just add more punishment to the AEW Revolution champion. Uh oh, he reverses, goes for a drop kick. Nice little kip up from Don Wyatt. With a double stomp to the gut. Now he's ramming his head into the rail of the ring. Oh, with a mean right. Nice. <clears throat> Looks like Morris is going through a lot, but they're both giving each other hell. Wait, what is Don doing? Why did he grab the title? Oh, he goes, throw it. Wait a minute. Oh my God, choke slam. Is it time? One. Kick out at two. Oh my God. That was a close one. Even Morris Blackwell came and bleed it. Now I think Morris Blackwell is just, he's so pissed off that if he didn't win that. Goes back in for the rear naked choke. The Coquita Clutch. Could Don Wyatt be passed out? And he's fighting back. Uh-oh. Is this finger amputation? Oh, my God. Low blow. Oh. Goes in for a beautiful ankle lock. Modified at that. Oh. Oh. But Don is fighting back. Oh my God. 
Oh! Uh oh, he's taking his socks off. Now he's ampy. Oh no. Oh no. And he just snaps them toes of Morris Blackwell. Oh, come here. Come here. And his wife's that toe jam on the ref. Jesus. Jeez Louise. Double stump to the foot. For the benefit of the sound of our cam recorder and ref, put your shoe back on. Come on. So five seconds before I take advantage of this. Five, four, two, eight. Oh. 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 Uh oh. Suplex! What's more as Blackwell said enough for? Oh, nice mean splash! One, two, no. He needs him right in the ribs. He's aiming for that arm. Yeah, ref goes in for the pin. What will it take for both of these men? Oh, mean forearm to the face. Is this that dementia stump? Dementia stump! He goes for the pin. Could this be it? The match is over. And your winner, by pinfall, Don the Plague White. Oh, Blackwell. That's right. A man many names too. You'll see.